Hello, Penny Pinchers. My name is Dayhan, and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be talking about top penny stocks to buy right now in April. So, four alternative energy penny stocks to watch. As we all know, Biden just you know unveiled his two trillion infrastructure plan, and that could definitely affect these uh, you know alternative energy stocks. So let's dive on in and check him on out, guys. So the first penny stock on our list is going to be Denison Mines Corp. So this one, this first alternative energy penny stock, Denison Mines Corporation has had quite a positive year. Denison is a uranium exploration and development company. Its main project is the Wheeler uh, River Uranium Project. And this uh, uranium is a form of alternative energy that has caused its uh, related stocks to go up in value. Now, the price and the demand for uranium have, you know, risen quite a bit in the last year. On March 29th, Denison announced filing its annual report on Form 40F with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. This includes its audited financial statements for 2020, management discussion and analysis. Since the update, DNN stock has, you know, increased 5%. Denison has also announced the closing of 86.3 million in financing. It issued 78,430,000 units of the company at $1.10 per unit for these proceeds. The proceeds are to be used for funding the purchase of uranium concentrates for long-term investing purposes. The intention is for the investment to support future financing or construction um, at its 90% uh, owned Wheeler River Uranium Project. DNN stock price has already, you know, tripled in the last six months. Its recent uptick had also been attributed to the new proposed government plan as well, which is why a lot of these, uh, you know, penny stocks and just energy stocks in general have been booming today. So if we take a look at this one, ticker symbol DNN, this one was trading flat today, which is pretty crazy to think about after what we, you know, had all this news come out on today. So this one trading at $1.09 right now. As we can see, it's been booming from, you know, November time period when Biden won the presidency from about $0.35, cents, hit highs here about $1.81, pulled back down with the market, consolidated around this $1 level as we see. Volume has said, you know, has been tremendous in the past month or so. We were trading 152 million shares. Over here, we traded over 200 million shares. But on average right now, we're trading between 10 and 20 million shares depending on the day. Now, what we're going to be looking for with DNN is for more of this consolidation to happen and then a uptick in the volume. If we can get that to push up, we can see this one, you know, past that $1.25 level, then the 150 to hit new 52-week highs at about 175 and continue its push higher. So I think in 2021, especially with the Biden, you know, administration going for this green energy and just alternative energy in, in general, I think this, this stock would definitely have upside of about 100% or so. I'm going to give it a price target of about two dollars per share for the end of 2021 which is a you know a pretty decent gain in my opinion so definitely want to add to your radar to see what happens in the long term with it now as always guys if you enjoyed this type of content go ahead and smash that like button let's aim for 100 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up also if you guys haven't already subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video we make a penny stock video every single day so don't miss out on that as always leave a comment below what penny stocks are you looking at right now are you interested in any of the alternative energy stocks at all or even you know if they're not penny stocks are you invested in any energy stocks in general as always guys if you want to sign up for we and get your two free stocks valued at up to eighteen hundred dollars Links are going to be in the description for that. Check it out. Now, guys, before we get into the second penny stock pick, I just wanted to show you what this plan has done today. Uh, just the announcement of the plan has risen, you know, a lot of these energy stocks a lot. So not penny stocks, obviously. This is just a regular blue chip stock. So right here, if we take a look at Enphase Energy, ticker symbol ENPH, this one was up about 7.68% or about $11 per share. And then after hours, it was up about 0.3%. But this stock is trading at $162. Then we have ticker symbol SPWR right here, Sun Power Corporation. This one was up about 6% during trading hours and then about 0.9% after hours. And then we have another one right here, Plug Power. This is another big popular one. This one was up about 5.29% and then almost 2% in the after hours. So this is what the plan has done. It's booming, you know, pushing up all these energy stocks because there's a lot of potential if it gets passed in the future that we're going to be moving towards that, you know, faster and faster um, in the short term, obviously, and the long term. So the second penny stock alternative stock is going to be Ocean Power Technologies. In the last month, Ocean Power Technologies has had its fair shares of ups and downs in the market. The company specializes in the development and commercialization of renewable electricity generating systems using ocean waves. When March 5th came around, it essentially kicked off the future momentum of OPTT stock for the rest of the month. 
The company released its third quarter fiscal year 2021 results. The company had uh, quite a few advancements during this quarter. Ocean Power acquired 3Dent technology, which will add offshore engineering and design services um, and established a project and customer base. It also has planned its first OPT power buoy remote system. This system provides clean and reliable electric power for remote offshore and subsea applications. This technology is associated with the oil and gas sector and the defense and security sector. Now, despite despite these highlights, Ocean Power Technologies experienced a revenue loss and net loss in its fiscal Q3 2021. However, it did manage to record you know earnings per share growth compared to its fiscal Q3 2020. Ocean Power came with a loss of uh, nine cents per share, which was significantly better than the forty six cents uh, loss from the prior year's quarter. In regards to this financial situation, the president and the CEO of the company said a key goal for us this year was uh, to bolster our financial position, improve our liquidity, and reduce our capital risk. And we believe that we've made great strides towards those efforts. Given the focus on our alternative and renewables, Ocean Power could be one of the names on you know to keep track of ahead of the second quarter. So let's take a look. Ticker symbol OPTT. This one exploded through the roof today, up over 10%. Just off of that, you know, planned news that we had. This is trading at $3.31 right now. Now, this one has some great potential as well. As we can see, the stock started going from about a dollar, hit highs here of about $7, which gives it a $6 upside. So it went up $6 per share in a matter of, you know, three months. So about 600% gains right there. Then it pulled back down with the market as the market did pull back as we saw, you know, in, in March, March was not a good month for the stock market. This went to lows of about $2 per share. Hit here a previous resistance and a support level depending on which part of the chart you're looking at. But support level around this, you know, $3 level is what we see about the $250, $3 level. Now with this one, volume was very low. We're only trading around, you know, one to three million shares per day. We're going to be looking for more volume to start to pick up in the near future. Um, if we see some more volume like we did here, 10, 40, 50 million shares traded, this one could definitely continue to pop. Now with this one for 2021, I see some, you know, potential obviously with OPTT. I think this could easily come up and reach the $7 level once again, like it did in the beginning of the year. It could potentially reach that $7 level, giving it about 110, 120% upside for the rest of the year. Um, you know, we just need some more good news and potentially this plan to come through and these stocks are going to start to go on up again. The third alternative energy penny stock on our list is going to be Torchlight Energy Resources, Inc. So here we go again. Another alternative energy stock. Torchlight Energy Resources was a oil and gas company. However, it is now working towards meeting regulations to, you know, its previously announced business combination with Meta Material Inc. It develops high performance materials and non-composite products used in things like solar energy and auto appliances. In an update a few weeks ago, Torchlight announced that it's expecting this deal to close in Q2. Now, Meta Material announced uh, that its shareholders had approved the special resolution re relating to the arrangement at Meta Materials annual general and special meeting. With this, Torchlight could make the transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy, which would be a massive move right there. The move could position the company to take advantage of the recent initiative that Biden administration has outlined that we saw today with the plan. So this could be a very big play for TRCH. So this one... Wasn't up too much, only about a 1%, but it was trading up here at around, you know, $1.99 at one point in the day and pulled back to actually at the close. So, so this one's trading around $0.27 cents when Biden won the presidency. So it went from, you know, $0.28 cents all the way up here to highs of about $4.83, which is massive, massive gains. That's thousands of percents of gains right there that we see with this stock, uh, Torchlight Energy Resources. So massive gains right there that we see. Um, obviously pulled back down with the market. Hit down here levels of about $1.70. Previous resistance area turned into new support levels, which is something we always talk about. As we hit higher highs and then pull back down, we have to look at previous uh, resistance levels for new support levels. So with this one, we're trading you know, in volume around here between, you know, Four and ten million shares, depending on the day. Some days a little bit higher, depending on what type of news is coming out in the you know market overall. But if the renewable energy sector starts to boom on up, and this one does a transition, like it stated, it could definitely come back up and start to trend on higher and reach those you know four dollar levels once again, and that would uh, potentially give it a again one hundred percent upside, uh, uh, like it did in the beginning of the year. So this one about a four dollar price target for the rest of twenty twenty one, especially if Biden you know goes through with this plan and then has a part two in the future potentially in 2021 or even 2022 that would be a great idea and great plan for all of this 
And last but not least, this one is going to be the hot one on the list. If you made it this far into the video, let me know in the comments below by just commenting sun, S-U-N. Let me just comment that below. That way I know you made it to the end of the video. Number four is going to be Sun Hydrogen Inc. So this one right here, Sun Hydrogen is a solar technology company based in California. It is a developing solar-powered non-particle system to act as a photosynthesis to separate hydrogen from water. Now, he did mention hydrogen in the plan. So there are a couple of reasons that this green energy penny stock is performing well. This week, Sun Hydrogen announced that it would be partnered with IN Rodox uh, to produce material components for Gen 2 manufacturing. Sun Hydrogen will be given insights to evaluate and demonstrate the scalability of the processes it takes part in. Now, Biden's new proposal plan could be a huge reason why this renewable energy uh, stock, you know, penny stock, has gained some momentum. If Biden intends to reach 100% clean energy by 2035, it would need a large increase of solar power. Uh, one analyst believes that the solar industry would need to install 150 gigawatts more of the generating capacity above the project projections. This is 50% more solar than has ever been installed by the solar industry. Given its ability to produce renewable hydrogen using solar tech, there are a few different angles to look at when it comes to sun hydrogen, and it has some huge, huge potential. This could be the next, you know, Enphase Energy or a company similar to that. Uh, you know, I remember a few years ago when Enphase Energy was trading at around under $10 per share. And that is when one of my you know, friends told me about the stock and I traded the stock and look at the stock now. It hit over $200 per share in 2021. So you never know what's going to happen with sun hydrogen in the future. But let's take a look. This one, ticker symbol HYSR, this one was up over 38% today. Currently trading at around 13 cents, almost 14 cents per share. As we see down here, it's trading at around two cents per share, two and a half cents per share when Biden, you know, got, um, you know, won the election, I guess you could say. And it went from that two cents area all the way up here to highs of about 33 cents per share, which is a massive gain. Once again, thousands of percents were made right there on that massive move. As you see, volume was huge every single day, you know, 70, 100, 200 million shares traded pretty much throughout the year. Then we saw, you know, some volume taper off a little bit right here. Now we're only trading between, you know, 10 and 20 million shares per day. So we're going to be looking for more volume to start to pick up as we continue to go throughout 2021. Now the market did pull back down a little bit and a lot of stocks, you know, that were over, um, you know, at overvalued pull back down. So we're going to be looking for that trend to start, you know, go back up hopefully in April and throughout the summer for stocks to start to move on back up and hit new all time highs. And if that happens, uh, HYSR has some huge potential. This stock, I think, uh, could definitely double and make over 100% gain. But potentially, it could even triple or even 5x by the end of this year. I think it has some huge potential. And I wouldn't be surprised if this stock was trading at around $1 per share by the end of 2021 or higher. Uh, just depending on what type of uh, news comes out with the company and what it does for the rest of the year. Hopefully, it has some you know positive data for us and some good earnings in the rest of the year. But we'll have to keep an eye out on this one. So let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about hot sun hydrogen is it a buy or is it a sell hold right now let me know in the comments below now as always guys i hope you guys just enjoy this content i am not a financial advisor this is all for educational purposes these are just some penny stocks that we're listing since you know biden went on with the plan that he's planning right now four alternative energy stocks to watch. So before investing into any stocks, especially penny stocks, speak to your financial advisor, do your own due diligence and research before investing because it's a high risk, high reward type situation. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification to so get notified every time I make a new video. Every single day we upload a new video. If you guys want to sign up for WeWell and get your two free stocks valued at up to $1,800, go ahead and check that link out in the description. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.